welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing another like get ready with me talk through tutorial today I've got a lot of filming and stuff to do so I want a makeup look that's a little bit more extreme that I would wear for the normal everyday look just because I'd be filming and everything so I wanted to play around with my makeup a lot more today so I've already done my brows so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the rest of my makeup so to start out with my makeup, I'm going to go ahead and conceal my eyelids. So I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NC35. I'm going to use this to carve out my brows as well as put on my eyelids. And for my eyeshadow base, I'm, I'm taking my NYX Single Eyeshadow in I Have a Headache. Going in to my favorite eyeshadow palette of the year, this is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm picking up Rugar down here, which is that nice uh, warm orange shade. And now on my eyelid, I'm going in with Love Letter right here. Okay, so now I'm going in with liner on my eyes. So I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and put mascara on my lashes. So I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And for lashes, I'm taking my Ardell Wispies. I'm taking my Hard Candy Sheer Envy. This is the one that minimi minimizes lines and pours for a smooth finish. Okay, for foundation, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. I used this one time a while ago and didn't really like it. And I was going through my makeup today and I figured I'd give it another shot and see how it turns out and I'm gonna be wearing it for a while today to test it a little bit more too as well but this is in the shade W5.5 what I remember it was like really orange on me last time I'm gonna take the cushion it comes with like I said I have used this before and I'm going to use it on my face and This does look a little bit orange. It looks more orange on camera than it does in real life. But I'm sure when I go in with concealer and all that, it will help even it out a little bit. It's not as bad as I remember it being, actually. So, But look how dark it looks compared to like my forehead. <laughs> and then for concealer, I'm taking my Rimmel True Match Perfection. I don't know why I said True Match. I'm taking my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in 125 Fair. Set my under eyes. I'm taking my Briley Sheer Super Stay Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, and to set the rest of my face, I'm taking my Elf Finish Perfect Finish HD Powder and Translucent. So Okay, going back into my eyes, I'm taking my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Liner. This is in black, and I'm going to put it on my waterline. Going back into my eyes now, I'm going to take Rugar again and put this on my lower lashes. And then I'm going back into that same mascara and putting it on my lower lashes. Going back into my face, I'm going to bronze. For my bronzer, I'm taking my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. This is in medium to dark. And then I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. blush brush. But of course, I'm not using this for blush. I don't know why I did all that. But yes. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going with blush. I'm taking my Jordana blush. This is in Tawny Beige. For highlight, I'm taking my e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. This is in the shade Golden. Um, I don't use this as a bronzer. <laughs> clearly why I said it for my highlight. I, I don't even know how I can work this as a bronzer. It's super streamery. But I'm taking my two favorite shades, which are these two right here, mixing them together to create the perfect blinding highlight. Okay, for lips, I'm going a little bit more nude today. So I'm taking my L'Oreal JLo collection in the lipstick. This is in the shade 370 Jennifer's Nude. And then I want my lips to look a little bit more glossy, so I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss. This is in Cream Burley. the completed makeup look. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. As well as go ahead and leave a comment below if you want to say, hey, what's up, what's good, what's popping. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you beautiful, beautiful people in my next tutorial. Bye guys!